Hello everyone, this is part 7 of Carbene Chemistry. Before starting the video, I would like to mention that please watch the previous videos so that you can understand this video easily. Okay? And for that, you can click on the link appearing on the screen. That is a playlist link of all the videos of Carbene and also you can find it in the description box. So, reactivity of carbenes here, these three reactions that is cycloaddition, insertion, and dimerization. These three reactions we have already covered. Now, today's topic is this last one, which is rearrangement. So, as the name suggests, rearrangement. So, there is some that is group or any atom. So, in this case, as you can see, this A now it is attached to B. Now, after rearrangement, it is shifted to this position and also there is a double bond formation between the atoms B and C. So, now we are getting C A bond. So, that is why it is rearrangement. This is a general uh, reaction as you can see here. Now, we will go into the details. So, this is number 4. So, that is it is mentioned here number 4, rearrangement of carbenes. We know that carbenes are electron deficient intermediates. Now, that is the reason. Now, an atom or a group on the neighboring carbon. So, in this picture, if this carbon is basically the carbon, uh, carbene carbon and this neighboring atom which is R prime, now it is shifted to this position. And there is also a newly uh, generated bond which is CC double one that you can see in the right hand side. So, this is the rearrangement reaction. The first example that you are seeing here, this is diazoketone molecule. Ketone is because of this C double bond group and at alpha position there is this diazo group. So, this is diazoketone and after treatment with Ag plus as catalyst or photochemical condition that is H nu or it may be thermal. You can apply any of this depending on uh, the substrate. What we are getting? We are getting ketene. So, in ketene, there is CC double bond and after that there is CO double bond. So, this is ketene. But there is an intermediate also involved in this reaction. The base non carbene rearrangement is basically this rearrangement that you are seeing here. That is a conversion of diazoketone to ketene and that is known as Wolf rearrangement. Now, these alpha diazo uh, keto compounds that we are seeing here, you can call it diazo ketone or alpha diazo ketone because the position of diazo is alpha. So, that is why it is alpha diazo ketone. It primarily forms alpha keto carbene and then from the alpha keto carbene, so this is the picture of alpha keto carbene. Here, this H is basically R prime. So, H or R prime, whatever it is. So, this is alpha keto carbene. First, it will be formed from alpha diazo ketone. And then, this will be converted to ketene, finally. So, this is the intermediate that is involved. And this position, that is the carbene carbon. Now, this course of this reaction and migratory preference, that depends on the condition, whether we are using any thermal condition, photochemical condition or any metal ion. In this case, Ag plus, this ion is mentioned. So, that depends on the substrate. Now, this uh, conversion that we are seeing here, better we say rearrangement, diazoketone to ketones, that can happen in two different uh, mechanisms. So, this nitrogen extrusion, because finally the nitrogen molecule is removed, and there is also one to shift. This can occur in a concerted manner. So, both these processes, they will happen simultaneously. So, that is concerted or it may be stepwise. So, first there is removal of N2 diatomic molecule and then there is one to shift via a carbene intermediate. So, these two processes, concerted and stepwise, we will see one by one. So, when it is stepwise, as you can see, first this N2 molecule, so here two resonance structures are written, you can consider any of them. It will, it will be better if you consider the second picture. Here this CN bond is broken, this bond is broken and nitrogen molecule is removed. Now we are getting this carbon. So this picture you have already seen in the previous slide and finally there is formation of this KT. So this is stepwise. And the next one is 
concerted. So when it is concerted, now this removal of N2 molecule and this shift of R group, which is 1 to shift because it is changing its position. Suppose if it is 1, it is 2, it is 1 to shift. So these two processes are happening simultaneously. So this is step uh, concerted. The previous one is stepwise. Now the actual synthetic uses of this wool free arrangement we will see. The first one is homologation reaction and in this case the uh, reaction that we are going to see that is known as and ester synthesis. In this homologation reaction a carboxylic acid and SOCl2 first these two will react with each other because SOCl2 that is a chlorinating agent. So this carboxylic acid, this OH will be now converted to Cl in presence of SOCl2. What we are getting? We are getting first acid chloride. Fine. And now the next step is this acid chloride. It will be reacting with diazomethane. Diazomethane is CH2N2 or occasionally diazoalkyl. Depending on the, that is, if it is diazomethane, it is CH2N2. But if I am saying diazoalkyl, there will be some R group, alkyl group present. So, we are taking here diazomethane, then via Arndester procedure, first it will generate alpha diazoketone and finally there will be Wolf rearrangement. So, see, these are the steps. The acid chloride that is produced from carboxylic acid in presence of SOCl2, now in presence of diazomethane, this RCOCl, that is acid chloride, it is converted to RCOCHN2. So this CH is basically coming from diazomethane and as now the number of carbon is increased because if you look at RCOCl, there is, we don't know how many carbon present in R, just forget about it, focus on this. Here only one carbon is present but now in the right hand side after treatment with CH2N2, there is one more carbon increase. So that is that is homologation. And finally, the old free arrangement. So here are the three steps that you are seeing. The last step is basically the rearrangement step. So we are getting finally this kitty, RCHCO. So in this case, this R group, it will be migrating to this position which uh, where the N2 molecule is uh, present. N2 will be removed, R will be shifted and this position there will be a new bond generated. So that is what is CC double bond, kitty. Kitty is uh, containing this group, CC double bond, then C. Uh, o double bond. So this is the first uh, application of Wolf attachment or you can say synthetic use. The second one, sorry, uh, it is still continuating. That is the ketin that you have seen in the previous slide. This ketin, now it can react with NUH. So this NUH is basically nucleophile. Suppose if uh, this NUH is alcohol, ROH, then just RO part that will be the nucleophile. Then amine RNH2. So RNH will be the NU part. In this way you can take water, ammonia, etc. So if you treat this ketene with NUH, which is basically the source of nucleophile, you will get derivatives of carboxylic acid. And if you are treating this ketene with any, that is A double bond B, this type of fragment, this is expressed here in general format. It may be any double bond between two atoms. So there will be uh, 2 plus 2 cyclo addition. So 2 plus 2 cyclo addition because this part is reacting with this A double bond B. This C double bond O, there is no change. So this is 2 plus 2 cyclo addition. We are getting a four member ring. Okay. Now depending on what type of nucleophile you have taken, if it is water, that is NUH, so NUH, that means here the NU part is HO, for ROH, NU part is RO. So in this way, uh, what type of NUH we have taken, the final product, that is the derivatives of carboxylic acid, different types we can get. When it is water, we are getting RCH2CO2H. So see, here one carbon is increased because we have started, remember in the previous slide, we started from RCO2H. Now you are ending with RCH2CO2H. So one carbon is extra. Then uh, if it is alcohol, 
we are getting a star if it is amine uh, ammonia rch2 conh2 this is amide and if it is r prime nh2 primary amine then we are getting co nh r prime okay so depending on what type of nucleophile source we have taken different types of derivatives of carboxylic acid it may be a star amide all these things we can get so that is how versatile the application you can understand from this example the next one after homologation is ring reduction in cyclic system so ring size will be reduced when wolf rearrangement is applied to cyclic system ring reduction may occur if the carbene is located at alpha position with respect to carbonyl group so here if we start from cyclohexanone this is the alpha position with respect to this c double bond o now in this alpha position there is double bond nitrogen molecule and so just same type of mechanism we have already seen keto carbene will be generated so this is the position of carbene and there will be ring reduction because this cc bond is now broken so suppose if it is number 1 this is number 2 then 3 4 5 and this is 6 so there will be generation of 6 uh, 6 and 2 these two carbons will be now attached and 1 1 2 bond sorry 1 2 bond will be still there 1 6 bond will be broken so this is one and uh, that is a car carbonyl carbon and after that there will be two and this is six so six two bond is formed and one six bond is broken we are getting ketene which is five membered and finally if you treat it with water it will be converted to uh, carboxylic acid or you can treat it with any other type of nucleophile source that depends on our requirement what we are actually trying to synthesize but important thing is you have started from six member ring but now we are getting five member ring ring expansion is also possible so if the carbene is attached to cyclic structure as a substituent ring expansion possible here we have taken diazomethane sorry this is ch2 ch2n2 diazomethane now it is attacking this carbonyl carbon and there is negative charge over oxygen suppose this is number 1 carbon and if it is attacking at 2 then 3 4 5 6 and suppose this is 7 okay so this is 2 this is 7 and this is 1 now here this two position suppose this is 3 so 2 3 bond will be broken 1 3 bond will be formed so this carbon which is in uh, different color as you can see here this is 1 this is 3 this is 2 and this is 7 so here 2 3 bond broken 1 3 bond is formed so we started from six member ring now we are getting seven member ring so obviously this is ring expansion so synthetic uses of wolf rearrangement total three types of reactions we have seen here homologation ring reduction ring expansion okay so that is all about this rearrangement reaction of carbene so i think this video will be helpful for you and thank you for your time